Hi, Bonbon bon here. You've already seen the video title and it's true, not clickbait. Today I have a tutorial which over 1 million City Skylines players should consider acting on immediately if you haven't already done so. Now, if you're a console player or if you never use mods, you are in the clear. You can safely skip this video and go back to watching cats falling off of tables or whatever. Now to the rest of you. If you play with mods, you'll know that some will break while others simply go obsolete. This is pretty much the case with today's featured mod, Network Extensions 2, or Next 2 as it is commonly abbreviated. You're probably sat there with a perfectly running city, thinking that this video is simply scaremongering, and to some degree, it is. Some degree. But there is legitimate concern. In today's video, I'll explain what's happening around the mod, why this is happening, and what you can do to protect your cities from being accidentally broken forever. I'll be explaining all of this as a non-modder. The news has been explained to me by bigger brains than I, and I'm simply relaying this message as a layman, in the way that I understand it. Now, it is quite possible I'll get some very basic facts wrong, However, the overall message is correct and does need to be told. So, as you'll know, Network Extensions 2 is a fine collection of roads with impressive fully rendered tunnels all available within one single mod. But wouldn't a simple collection of individual road assets have been more game efficient than a single mod which contained absolutely everything? Well, probably. But that wasn't the inspiration behind network extensions in the first place. Back then, there was a grand plan. Network extensions was intended to be a fancy mod, not just with roads, but with rail and likely a whole lot more too. And within the mod, loads of technical controls, such as lane management and the likes. It was a huge project. And then Traffic Manager arrived. Here we have a mod which did everything that was planned for Network Extensions 2 and made further time investment into that mod fairly pointless. Luckily for us, the developer kindly maintained the mod as it was so that it continued to work after all of the DLCs and patches. And as you'll know, the mod still works even now. But what us mere mortals didn't know is modders have had to be very careful when developing new mods. There's some technical stuff at play here, but the simple existence of Network Extensions 2 made creating new mods far more troublesome. And yet, our heroes, the modders, continued to work around this to produce one mind-boggling mod after another. But now, things have changed. Harmony has arrived. Harmony is a mod which I don't have the words to explain but it's a completely different way for modders to bend and flex our amazing game. We mod subscribers don't need to understand what it does, just that many of the new mods will need it to be able to run. It's an app for an app. Harmony is the future. Smile and accept it. But this brave new step forward means that Network Extensions 2 has become a ticking time bomb. Modders no longer have to avoid the complexities of Network Extensions 2's coding. They're working a completely different way now, and this means it is almost inevitable that some future essential mod is going to conflict with Network Extensions 2 and break your game. When will this happen? Which mod will it be? Will your city even be savable? Nobody knows. In all likelihood, if you don't ever subscribe to another mod, your game will be safe. But must-have mods are must-have mods. Can you really be sure you won't be tempted? Luckily, I have a ready-made solution. It's quick and easy, and all of the links are in this video's description. First, head on over to the workshop and subscribe to Ron, the Network Replacer by Algernon. Then, Check the collection of roads by Silas and subscribe to them all, or just the ones you know you are most likely to use. But do not unsubscribe to Network Extensions 2, not just yet. 
Now that you've got all of the weapons you'll need to preemptively save your city, it's time to launch your game. Go to the content manager, enable ROM the network replacer, and then load your city. Now with the city live, it is time to remove and replace all of the network extensions to roads. Use the hotkey, by default Alt N, to open ROM's user interface. In the left window, any road names prefixed by the letter N will need to be replaced, as these are your network extensions to content. Click the top one, and all of these roads on the map will light up blue. Now choose a replacement road from the right hand window, and click replace all. Repeat for all of the network extensions to roads in the city, and your job is almost done. Just one last thing, head back to the workshop and unsubscribe from Network Extensions 2. And if you haven't done so already, drop the creator a thank you in the comments, for what's been for the longest time one of the most popular mods on the workshop. Now, when new mods launch, your city will be safe. There's no longer any risk of your obsolete road mod indirectly breaking your city while the new roads you have will look pretty much identical to what you had before. And that's it. If this tutorial has been any help to you, please consider hitting the like button. To see more just like it, hit subscribe. And to be notified each and every time I upload a new video, hit the little bell. I've got some exciting stuff planned and I would love for you to be there with me. Thanks for watching. I've been Bon Bon B and you've been very, very welcome.